Hey folks, welcome back. Greg Rex here with Lutron Electronics, here to talk to you today about the latest version of the Lutron Designer software, 21.3. Let's get started. Before I jump into the update for 21.3, I do want to highlight a few things that came in on the 21.2 platform, uh, including the ability to now add the Homeworks digital module within the software. Over the last few months, we came out with a new lighting portfolio that's a fully compass lighting port portfolio for our Homeworks clientele. That even includes matching worn dim curves with our Avalo collection and our Ketra solutions. All the magic behind it is with the new digital controller and the new digital drivers within those fixtures. also added the ability to manipulate your time clocks within the app interface. We had a lot of new changes that came in with the time clock application. We now have the ability to manipulate the start and end dates directly from the app, as well as define exceptions for those events within the app as well. To round out the update for 21.2, we added new pre-engraved four button scenes for your Picos, including an entertain scene within the family room, as well as a new kitchen scene, uh, and a few others as well to round out more selections within the software. We finally made it to the 21.3 updates, but before I jump into the remote service applications, I do want to highlight a couple things that came in on the 21.3 platform, including the new retrofit subplate for our RPM to DIN solutions. Folks, this is a new subplate that is meant to go in an existing PL8 enclosure and replace those RPMs with the new subplate and then have the ability to add new DIN modules within the same housing as the existing PL8. Before we jump into the remote services features within 21.3, I do want to show you one more thing. That is Lightbar Slim, our latest and greatest low profile linear within our catcher collection is now available within the software. <music> Folks, oh man, we finally made it. Now let's talk about the coup de grace for 21.3. That is the remote service capabilities within the software. In the past, when you started this, we, we, we kind of teased you a little bit and we said, hey, we're going to allow and have syncing capabilities with cloud-based storage backup. The secret behind this is that we were working on all of these great features behind the scenes. Now, when you start a new project, it says, hey, you want to enable cloud remote services for this project? You better, especially if you want to go through and have the ability to do things like remote transfer, do remote app edits. Let's talk about how those features work and how they're going to impact you moving forward. Let's talk a little bit about how we made things easier for you on the 21.3 platform. We now have the ability to share projects directly from the app interface via our cloud applications. If you open up the software and you see this disclaimer, it's gonna say, hey, from a remote service standpoint, it is currently not working. You do not have permissions for the project. All you need to do is have someone who does have permission to the project grant you access to that project. And as soon as they do, you will also be granted access for all of the remote service functionality that we currently have within the software. Once that access is granted, folks, we now have the ability to 
utilize all of the remote service capabilities that we currently have which one of them as mentioned is that remote transfer feature as long as i have an internet connection and i've established that i am part owner of that project we can shoot over transfers remotely to our systems one thing i do want to make note of is with the remote transfer application we are not shooting over the latest firmware within the transfer so make sure when you set up your projects and you set up your processors you do an initial activation and initial transfer to get the latest version of, of firmware over to the processor then start leveraging the capabilities of utilizing the remote transfer feature The last thing that I wanted to share with you on the remote services platform is the new way that we're going to actually activate our catcher devices. We no longer need to utilize that USB connector with the 21.3 platform. We can simply activate our devices via the app interface and then sync them back with the project in the system via the remote services feature within 21.3. I want to thank everyone that joined us for the 21.3 software release update. We unveiled a lot of great content in this release, including the remote services platform. Folks, we're just scratching the surface on that platform. There's going to be a lot of new content coming out, uh, as well as updates to existing content in future releases. Don't forget, you can check out the release notes for 21.3 right where you download the software. That's all we had for this one, folks. We'll see you next time.